I had my hip replaced because I wanted to go back to my life as it was before I had hip pain. My life had pretty much degenerated. In terms of a functionality standpoint, when your hip goes, you can't do the things that you normally do because you have no range of motion. And when you exceed a very slight range of motion, you have intense pain. So getting in and out of a car is hard. You start doing less of one thing, but then when it gets to the point where you realize you're not even sleeping, then it's time to have your hip replaced. Before I had uh, hip pain, um, I windsurfed and skied and rode my bike. And those three things, at least six days a week, I did one of them. And I was at a point where uh, I had a little bit of flexibility in my schedule. And so those things were really were the things that I thought about when I got up in the morning and, and really looked forward to. And when they became something I couldn't do, that, that changed everything. Well, I'd had a hernia. Uh, surgery and a couple of months after the hernia surgery I, I had some pain that I initially had thought was associated with the hernia repair. I saw someone, they, uh, an orthopedic surgeon who took uh, an x-ray and right off the bat you know, he could see several indications of, of hip degeneration and progressive joint um, disease. He wasn't quite sure when I did a hip replacement but he was quite sure that, the, uh, that my lifestyle would change as he put it because he knew the sort of things that I did, windsurfing, riding my bike, skiing, uh, not a little, you know, not playing shuffleboard, but those things and a lot of them. Uh, the, the first part of the research phase was to determine whether I was going to have things like injections or whether I was going to have a different type of process called resurfacing or a total hip replacement. And that took a long time because it's, it's a field that's not only in flux, but each surgeon or each uh, organization that makes the equipment or the pieces and parts, they have their own opinions. And, and in many cases, they are opinions. They have data, but the data is soft. So, so waiting through that took some time, but I, I came to the conclusion that the total hip replacement is the best option today and certainly was the best option for me. And then when I started looking for a surgeon, you know, I knew who Dr. Mass was. He has a, a well-earned um, and tremendous reputation, but I wanted to look at the facts and the data. You know, how many procedures had he done? And at that point, I realized it was into the thousands. Who he trained under, and he'd literally trained under not just the best in the country, but he had done a fellowship overseas and trained under some of the finest surgeons in the world. And that means a lot to me. Had I not had my hip replaced, I absolutely know what it would be like. You know, the, the short answer would be a lot worse. But the, the more accurate uh, answer is it would be a lot less. It would be a life where I didn't really get to do the things that I enjoy doing pretty much every day. And I think the other thing that, that can't be underestimated is I think my overall health would have degenerated. Because if you are not getting sleep, if you are not happy, if you are not engaging with your friends and family, um, that is a recipe for disaster health-wise. Within a week, I felt like I had tremendous range of motion. I really didn't have much pain. I had to really think about what hurt. And within two weeks, it was simply something I didn't really think about anymore. There was no pain, there was no medication for the pain. And actually about that time, I had to think uh, about being careful. I had to remember that there was still bone in growth and that there was tissue that was mending because I felt so good after two weeks that I felt like I could have done anything I wanted to, which doesn't mean that, that you should. Uh, so at that point in time, I realized uh, things had gone really well. And once again, I selected the, the best way to do it with a total hip, the best technique, the interior approach, and the best surgeon, Dr. Mast. I think the most important thing I would tell somebody who has given things up because of joint disease, bad hip in particular, is think about what you were doing at those first signs, at when you first started feeling uh, discomfort, when you first started having restricted range of motion. And think about what you were doing then and how you were doing it because that's what you're going to feel like after you have your hip replaced. And so if you were out there 
charging in the waves, if you were out there getting after it skiing, um, you're going to be back out there. No, no question about it.